Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So mixed feelings today. Um, excited uh, because we have completed our entire alphabet, but at the same time, tinged with sadness, obviously, because our alphabet challenge has, you know, sadly, obviously, you know, this is the, going to be the last one because we are now up to letter Z, obviously. Uh, right, again, <laughs> for the last few letters, I have struggled to come up with, um, you know, words. This one, uh, Z, really was quite tricky. I was originally going to go with zips, um, but to be honest, I had very limited uh, ideas of what I could do with zips. So I, again, thesaurus and, you know, googled um, some words for uh, beginning with Z. And there is a word zazzy. It is similar in meaning to snazzy, flashy, um, you know, kind of over embellished, super, I guess, opulent and, and decorated. Um, so that's what I'm going to go for, I think, for, for Z. So I have brought along a bunch of stuff that I think is going to hopefully, you know, um, fit the bill. I've got this kind of sequiny trim. I've got that gorgeous bridal lace that I love using. I've got glitter. Um, and then I've got some doily pieces and various things. I've also got this tiny um, paper clip, which was gifted to me by Laura. And I might try and recreate something like this, but in a very blingy, flashy way. She has made a double paperclip, i.e. it's got pieces on both sides. I probably won't do that, I have to confess. I will probably just do one side. Uh, but we will see how we get on. And I've also brought along some gold paint, because obviously you, know, you don't really get much more flashy than sort of gold and, and sequiny and things. So, <coughs> excuse me, just clear my throat again. <coughs> I'm going to pop this to one side. I've also brought along one of Rachel's labels because, again, to me, that's going to hopefully lend itself really lovely, you know, in a really beautiful way um, with the theme. So if you're crafting along, you will need some, you know, blingy type stuff, scissors, glue, distress inks, and anything else that you're going to use. So I'm going to hit the timer now, and I am hoping to keep this vaguely in frame. So, ready, go. Okay, for a minute there, I thought, oh, I don't think that's worked. Right. So, for my first piece, if I just move this out of the way slightly, I have now got these postcards, um, which I'm putting in my shop. Hopefully, they will be in my shop by the time this video goes up. Um, but at the moment, they're just my, you know, sort of getting them how I want them. So I'm just going to trim one out. Again, they feature beautiful architectural images, which I just absolutely love. And obviously they are all vintage. Um, let's just trim around there. <clears throat> that I've collected over quite a long time now. Um, but I finally had enough to be able to put into some sort of, you know, collection as it were. Right. Just ink around this. This is my old, you know, quite dry now vintage photo. But hopefully that's going to be inky enough. So, and I have just printed those onto white cardstock. So that's all that they're, you know, printed on at the moment. Uh, looking around, I can't now see my, I can't see my walnut stain. Oh, there it is going to say for if I wanted it any darker just around the edges just go around them like that and then I've brought along one of these book page envelopes again this is not my idea at all this was a Patricia Veramonte's um you know book page envelope and I don't know as I've actually, you know, made it correctly according to her um, tutorial, but it's my version of it. So I thought what I would do is just decorate it up with some blingy bits and pieces. Now I've brought along some doily and what I'm hoping is to be able to paint the doily in sort of gold shades. I'm going to just use my finger. So 
please excuse me I just I'm going to obviously get very messy during this video but I didn't want this to have a really um you know like solid color to it I wanted it to be I guess quite patchy so I thought using my finger I think is probably the best way to do this because if I use a paintbrush it's going to have a bit more of a thorough oops a thorough sort of look to it so as I say please do excuse the mess that I'm now making okay so I'm going to just pop that to one side to dry for a moment <clears throat> like that and then let me just flip my book page to ink up on so just ink around my my envelope yeah I feel mixed feelings um, funnily enough I mean <laughs> I have to say I don't know how Rachel made it through the 100 day project because um, you know I've only had to come up with ideas for 26 weeks and you know obviously a there's been a week in between each and B it's only 26 you know I know obviously there's three pieces so I mean technically you could say it's kind of near a near a 90 but it still doesn't compare to the hundred and she obviously did that one day after another day after another day I don't know how she quite coped to be honest or how she made it through because I've actually found coming up with the ideas pretty tough I have to be honest um, so I don't know how she came up with all those incredible ideas that she did so hat off to you Rachel I mean I think I said it to her at the time when she finished it you know I don't know how she did it but reiterating that I really 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 wow you know take my hat off to you right now I've just grabbed some book page here and I've got Rachel's you know, speaking of Rachel. So I'm not going to finish this off yet because we're waiting for that doily piece to dry. Just going to ink this up. It's one of Rachel's gorgeous labels. And as you can see, this one is um, like portrait in shape. So all I'm going to do is just take this book page and just cut that down. <clears throat> like that and this is where now I'm actually thinking oh I might have to use more of that gold doily because um, I actually think it's going to look quite nice on this as well so I'm going to just glue this together so this is like four book pages just you know piled on top of each other or you know folded up to make it you know robust so or more more robust just gluing them together around the edges Oops. like that okay Okay, hopefully that's going to be, you know, robustish. So just going to, again, ink this up. Obviously it's got a bit of um, glue on there now, so it's picking up some glue, unfortunately, but that's fine, it won't, you know, it won't matter. So taking our, you know, Rachel label. <coughs> and then now my glitter, as you can see, really old run out you know more or less so I just have this tiny bit which when I use this now I have to just be really messy and you know just yeah horribly messy and just dip my finger in just to try and get some out to even use so all I'm going to do is go around my edge of my book page there I mean, obviously, you know, in an ideal world, I would have probably left this to dry because it's obviously quite soggy. 
where I've only just that second glued it together, but it's fine. It's not really going to matter. And to be honest, my glue is pretty old. So again, <laughs> so it's a bit easier to work with in the video. I'm just going to cut the top off so that I can get into the bottle a bit easier. So there we go. I mean, I really could do with buying some new glitter anyway, so that's absolutely fine. <clears throat> and this will now force me to. Glitter's not something that I necessarily use that much, but, you know, when I do, I do, I do like it. So, um, yeah. Now I'm going to just go around the edge of Rachel's beautiful label. But I don't know whether the camera is picking this up. It's possibly not. Let me just stand up and sort of see and try and get it a bit closer. What I'm trying to do is put the glitter as close to the, the centre. Do you see what I'm trying to say? I don't know how to describe it. But on the framed part, so more or less the entire frame is now glittered and just the middle hollow is not glittered. I hope that makes sense. Right, so again, I could probably do with leaving that for a few seconds to just dry a little bit. It's not going to dry completely because to be honest, that glitter takes a little while. So that's those two bits. And then my final piece, I haven't really kind of thought of what I was going to do for my final piece. So um going to be very much on a wing and a prayer here. Let's just, have, I'm just having a look around to see what I might have laying about um, that I can pull in. Right, I've got some tracing paper here. Again, this is just left over from another project. So I'm just going to trim that down <clears throat> like that. the top actually I'm going to just come in slightly more here okay and then what I'm going to do let me just grab some book page from down beside me so this is two pages in thickness Oops, it's actually stuck together weirdly enough. Right, now I'm going to think, form a pocket. So a bit like the pocket that we made um, back in episode one, strangely, um, using the acetate. I'm just doing sort of a similar thing here using the tracing paper. And that tracing paper, you know, as you can see, it's been printed on just with some printable. Actually, it's the um, it's some of the freebie print printables that uh, I sort of get, you know, gifted you guys as a Christmas Christmas present. So. If you wanted those, then check out my website, shabbydabbydoodah.co.uk, and then you can access those and obviously get your own, you know, get your set of free papers. Right, now again, obviously, you know, if I had my sewing machine here, I would stitch this. I don't have my sewing machine, so all I'm going to do is glue this together. So I'm going to just glue it down here. In that, oops, that corner, oops, that line as well. So that's the basis of my pocket. And again, I'm just going to ink that up slightly. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be hugely. Um, I, well, it it is going to be visible, but whether or not it's inked up probably isn't really going to be hugely visible through the printed tracing paper, but. It's nice to um, have it like that, isn't it? So then all I'm going to do is run my glue 
around the edges of my pocket here like that and I'm just going to stick that onto there <clears throat> like that and then exactly the same at the back Oops. like that so I want to say thank you so much to everybody for your incredible support through this um, you know this series it's been so super fun and I have to say you know mainly it's been fun because you've all been so amazing I mean obviously if nobody had been watching this would not have been fun for me at all so yeah I really really appreciate everyone's support and I really appreciate those people who've joined in the challenge really yeah it's been super fun and um, as I say I mean I do sort of have mixed feelings now that it's come to an end because uh, it has been really enjoyable and it's been really nice to do something so very different um you know very challenging but very fun right that's my my basis of my pocket so again i'm just going to ink that up slightly it doesn't particularly need it but i will just ink it slightly <clears throat> like that and then what i'm going to do is take my my gold again, I mean, really messy hands, I'm afraid, so, so sorry. I'm just going to go round my edge of my piece, like that. So, I mean, straight away, it's got a really quite an opulent look there, you know, without even having to do anything further, really, so really love that now I'm not going to do the back for the moment I mean a it may be glued down to a page and b obviously because I'm doing this in a rush I haven't got time for it to dry and if I turn it over it's going to obviously then be wet so I'm just going to leave it like that for the minute now I'm going to pop this one to one side now to sort of dry off for a moment and I'm going to pull in my first one back again which hopefully you know the doily now is is drying I mean it's not dry but it's it's getting there so I'm just going to tear off a little piece of the doily and actually I'm wondering whether I might prefer to have the paler part so I'm just going to pull that in and then I'm going to ink this up so that any bits that weren't with the gold which I didn't want it solid but I don't want it bright white either so just inking it up which is hopefully then, you know, making it look quite pretty. <clears throat> like that. And what I really could have done with is those beautiful gold flowers that Laura gifted me. And unfortunately, they are downstairs from where I was using them last. So um, I won't be able to obviously use them. Right, do we want a bit of glitter around the picture? All I'm doing here is just seeing how that would look. Yes, let's let's do that. So just going to glitter around my photo. You know, because the theme here is um, zazzy, you know, flashy, op opulent and... Um, kind of over the top really so I'm not you know I wouldn't normally probably do this but <laughs> just sort of to keep in in with the theme that we're running I'm just glittering up that that looks nice now again what I probably could have done with doing was in the second of the alphabet challenges we did the embossing around the edge of our pieces. And I could have done that with the gold and it would look really awesome. Unfortunately, I haven't really got time because I've only got like 12 and a bit minutes left. I haven't got time to, um, you know, get my embossing powder out and all that type of stuff. So I'm not going to do that. But 
just yeah I kind of wish I'd thought of that because I would have got that all ready as well so what I'm doing now I'm just trimming down <clears throat> a little piece of my bridal lace I keep thinking I'm going to look out and try and get myself a wedding dress you know an old vintage wedding dress to use and to cut up um, I do, you know, I do from time to time remember and then start looking and then obviously I don't find one and, you know, forget all about looking again for a while. But this year, at some point, hopefully, I will actually manage to get a vintage, vintage wedding dress and use that in my pieces. Right. Now, do we want to put gold around the edge? I think we probably do, don't we? So again, probably move that out of the way. Might not want to use it all around the edge actually, so I might just kind of do it in random places. Because we don't want it to look too too uniform, I think, is the key. And just a bit down the bottom, like that. Oh, loving how that's looking, I must say. I mean, it is quite over the top, but you know, I mean, obviously that's the um, that's the look we were going for. So, hopefully, mission has been accomplished. Right, just going to do a little bit of stamping. So I'm just going to take the black stays on and I'm going to just take this little swirly sort of stamp and just do a little bit of stamping around here. <clears throat> like that. Okay, and then we're going to take our doily piece and I'm just going to pop that down there. Oops. I mean, obviously this doily's, you know, still a little bit on the wet side, to be honest, but it's okay. It's good enough. Oh gosh, now my three and one is, is not cooperating, so. Oh, come on. want to come out come on come on come on right so I'm going to pop that down there like that and then we're going to have this piece here obviously I need to be a bit careful because this is um, you know the glitters really wet around the edges but we'll just glue it as best we can with the time allowed. <clears throat> so I'm just holding it more at the top because that, you know, wasn't so heavily glittered. In fact, I'm just going to press it down and to be honest, that's fine because as you can see, it just dabs off a bit of the glitter but sort of leaves it on there too. So that's that piece there. Oh, I love how that looks, I must say. And then we've got this beautiful, you know, um, bridal lace kind of flower which I think we might pop down there so what I'm going to do is just do a little bit more of that stamping down the bottom which again just then ties it all together <clears throat> like that okay right and then we're just going to pop this I think here and then I'm going to put some lace on because of course it just wouldn't be the same without lace but I think what I might do is just pop the lace like maybe halfway and then add some glitter maybe to the lace so let me just try and unclog my my three and one which is actually pretty unusual because it's normally, you know, really good and doesn't really clog up. So, so 
a bit annoying that it has today. Come on. Okay, it seems to be coming out a bit better now. Right, there we go. And then, oh my gosh, that timer is really just madly ticking down now. Right, now what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of glitter onto the lace. Ah, oh, that looks so pretty. And then I might even glitter this up. Not that this needs it, because it's obviously got sequins on it anyway, but just for a bit more sort of continuity, really. And then... Actually, might prefer that up there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to pop that up there. Like that. Love how that looks. Really, really lovely. Now, I probably would do more to that, but obviously the time has ticking down, so I'm going to have to stop and get on with some of our other pieces. But one last thing on here, I'm just going to pop this sequiny trim across here. So the sequiny trim I'm just using really instead of my bling that I would normally use. And I mean, actually, the bling would have been fine because, of course, that's quite flashy as well. But I just thought this was a bit a bit different. Right, so that's that piece. Just going to pop that out the way. Need to really crack on. I've just noticed how little time there is left. Right. It's just very quickly. Oh, take this. And I might try and work on these together. Mainly because... I want to keep an eye and make sure that I don't um, use all the doily if I were to want more on another piece. So I'm thinking <clears throat> we could pop that there. Now I wanted to, um, you know, bling up my bird really. Laura had obviously, oh gosh, nearly. Nearly dipped my hand in the three and one there. Uh, Laura had done hers with glossy accents and that was my initial plan. But to be honest, you know, there is not time to do that. So I'm just going to do a bit more glittering on the, uh, on the bird now. Do we want to have a little bit of gold poking out anywhere? Actually, I don't think I do. What I might do is just pop a bit of lace up there. So again, I'm just going to glue this piece on. Oh my gosh, the time is really ticking by today. Have I wasted like really a lot of time or was this just a bit of a silly silly project I don't know <laughs> oh well oh what's happened to my clock <laughs> don't know what happened there I obviously knocked it somehow but I didn't even notice that I had oh my gosh let's just pop that little bird there like that and then just got this tiny you know thin thin strip of lace. So I'm going to pop that, I think, down the bottom. Like that. And then again, just like the other piece, I'm going to pop some glitter over the top of that lace as well <clears throat> to finish that off. So I'll just trim that down. Oh, come on. I need to hurry here. Again, just pop that down. I mean, this is just that, you know, cheapy kids sort of glue with the glitter. But funnily enough, I mean, I do think it's really great on, um, you know, when you put it on lace. I mean, I have done that a few times. I've done it like with a sort of fairy tale journal and things like that. 
and it does really you know work on the lace really well I mean obviously if you're going to try it I'd recommend probably that you test a bit first before you you know waste your lace but I have touch wood always found it to be you know pretty good so um, yeah right so that's that piece oh my gosh I like how that looks right oh last piece now right uh, let's have a look um, not necessarily the pieces that I was planning on using but again I just haven't really got time for mucking about so these are good colour match they're on my desk from another project that I have been doing videos for so you know they work really well colour wise with this so let's go for that oh my gosh look at the time I don't know why it's such a shock to be honest because um, you know it's not really that shocking is it that, that the time is uh, going by like that Happens every week. And finally, finally at Z, that's dawned on me. Now, I just wonder what this doily would be like if we actually glittered that a bit as well. It looks pretty. Again, probably you can't see that in the camera. So I will pull these up to the, to the camera screen. Oops before the end of the, you know, or at the end, sorry, of the video. So we've got that one there, and then just going to pop some glitter around here as well. You know, just because, obviously, we're going for that, you know, blingy OTT appearance so again I probably wouldn't normally have done that but that all just adds to the the feeling of you know sort of opulence and over the top and what have you so right we're just pressing that down like that oops could just do with oh my timer right just quickly get that glitter on there and then I will stop that timer and of course it's the last one so of course I'm just going to cheat regardless now because um well because that's just you know I've done that every week to be honest cheated so what's the difference right but I'm going to like blatantly cheat today with like no shame or anything so um right again I've got that skinny skinny lace <clears throat> which I just thought would be quite good for these pieces um, you know to be able to oh gosh look at that three in one now it's just like pouring out um, I thought it would be quite good I'm just going to run my finger down no wonder I've got stuff stuck all over me Ugh. right <laughs> I thought it would be quite good because obviously we're adding glitter to it so I didn't really want to have like really thick lace that was then you know smothered smothered in glitter so hopefully this looks you know flashy as per the definition of zappy zazzy sorry um but hopefully not um you know not hideous not like really atrocious so just go along that a bit with some glitter oh that's so pretty right so that's that and again just thought we would just add a bit of our sequiny trim so just again add a bit of blue like that and then trim 
that off here. Like that at the side. Okay, so that's that piece. And then I might just add a little bit more of that pretty sort of bridal bridal lace and should we have like a really big piece and we can actually have it like hanging off what do you think is that just really strange mm, I quite like it strangely enough I think it's quite pretty but maybe it's a little bit on the strange side. Oh well, let's go for that because, um, you know, we could always trim that off at a later date, couldn't we? So just trim that down like that. Not trim it down, sorry, glue it down. Right. I'm so smothered in glue, literally, ugh, like really, really bad today. Yeah, really bad. I have glue, I have gold paint, just covered everywhere. Ugh. Right. Okay, so that's our pieces. Yay! This was not what I expected to be doing for Zed, I have to say. Um, yeah, I did consider Zebra, but obviously that felt very similar to the where the wild things were. So that's a little pocket, obviously at the top. Oops, I probably need to add a little touch more glue um, to those, those book pages, but obviously I was just in a bit of a rush during this video, but that's that one. Then we've got our envelope here, which looks so pretty, doesn't it? And the lace again with the glitter. Again, I don't know whether the camera really is picking that up, but it just looks really lovely. And then the final piece, obviously, oh, we didn't put the paper clip on the back. So let's just quickly finish that off now by having a paper clip obviously here. So <clears throat> let me find some sort of card to put at the back. Uh, Oh, come on, I mean, how hard can that be to find just some card on my on my desk? Oh, this is just madness because my desk is covered in, well, as you guys know, covered in every single thing you could possibly think of. And yet card, just a plain piece. Can I find any? No. Oh, that's just mad. Right, here we go. There we go. And we just glue that on. I'll use the three in one. Okay. And I'll just glue that sort of quite up at the top. Okay, right, press that down. Woohoo! So yeah, we nearly even forgot to make that into a paper clip at the end. It was almost just, just a piece. Uh, but we have now obviously finished that off and made it into a paper clip. I have to say it doesn't particularly resemble Laura's that much. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know quite what happened, but ooh, and I have just spotted I've got this little flower here which it's one of those mulberry flowers, but I had sprayed it with my dilutions a really long time ago. Oh, I can't resist putting that on there because it just looked, you know, just so perfect with that blue. So we could have that and um, we could just have a little piece of bling in the middle of that flower. This has been a bling free video, well up to this point, you know, obviously now I've added some bling to that flower, but not really a proper bit of bling, just, um, just a flower centre, it doesn't really count does it? There we go, 
Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, no wonder that's sticking all over me. You know, even the back of my hand, you can see, has got oh, glitter all over. Oh my gosh. This is where I could do with some sort of pokey tool thing to move this about, because now I've got glitter on the flower. Oh gosh. Wow, that's just like... When your hands get too messy and they're then actually, you know, interfering with everything that you're doing. That's what's gone on there. Right, doesn't really resemble Laura's at all. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry, Laura. I had tried to mimic your gorgeous paper clip and actually failed miserably. But um, I guess, you know, it was kind of going to fail because I was trying to make it blingy. But yours was the initial inspiration. So that's my three pieces, obviously, that we have made today. Let me move this out of the way. So I hope that you like them. Yep, so thank you so much to everybody who has both supported the series and also joined in with the series. It's been such fun. Um, I've got some other things planned for Saturdays, um, which hopefully, you know, are going to be good and fun too. Uh, but I may give it a break for a week or two. Um, I have got something else that I would like to do, but I'm still researching that at the moment. Um, that would probably come in between the this ending and my new um, thing starting. So, yep, I will keep you posted of what's coming up and I hope that you will join me. So thanks so much and have a great day. See you soon. Thanks then. Bye.